guys, welcome back to the Heart Pour. Many of you have seen me brew beer before and have probably wondered how exactly do you get it into a keg. Today is a quick tutorial on how to open and seal a keg with the generic opening. Uh, three tools that you're going to need if you want to do it the way that I do is a set of pliers, a flathead screwdriver, hopefully with a finer tip like not very dull for instance worst case scenario you may need a hammer uh, but that's only going to be if it's a stubborn uh, keg and of course an empty keg so i've been kegging for probably three years now and at this point i've got it pretty well down but there's no perfect way to do it every keg can present different issues uh, but long story short at the top of every keg will look like this and it's tough for you to see but right here there's a circular metal ring that goes in and it holds a cylinder that goes the whole way down to the bottom of the keg down and once it's held down the co2 pressure from your kegerator or any co2 dispenser is going to apply pressure that will make a perfect seal. To get the keg open, you need to first push on top of the ball to release all pressure. Once that pressure is out, you can start working at the beginning of this uh, circular seal. You can start working it out so that you can remove it with the pliers. The screwdriver to work it out, pliers to completely remove it, and then the cylinder will pull out. You can clean your keg, sanitize it, etc and then you can put it back in, relock it, and you'll work it back in mostly by hand. And once the entire ring is back in, you'll force carbonate to make the seal and you'll be good to go after three days of force carbonation to uh, drink. I know that's a lot, so bear with me. I'm gonna try and get this on video so that you can see how I do it and we'll go from there. Step one. Press down on the ball to release any pressure. When you're doing this, sometimes liquid will come out. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful of that. But if it does, just clean it up. You're gonna to wanna to go until you don't hear any more sound is getting pretty close to that point now. Okay, now I don't know how well you can see this, but the beginning of my circular ring starts right here. And I'm gonna kind of work my screwdriver underneath it. This one feels pretty tight, so we may need the hammer.
gotten the top part to lift off, so now all I'll need from this point forward is this here, pulling it in, just pulling it inward. You can slowly get it out. Looks like almost like a spring goes almost the whole way around this is what you need to get removed and this is what you're gonna have to get back in so you're hoping that whenever you pulled it out you didn't damage any of these sides too much to where it's gonna make it difficult to go back in to remove you just need to turn this sometimes it's a little stuck because of the beer this point you are going to clean and sanitize the keg okay the keg is open it has been cleaned out sanitized the table's been sanitized all my tools have been sanitized it is time to siphon from the fermenter into the keg Okay, so now we have the beer in the keg. It's time to put the ring back in. Uh, there's no real easy way to do it. Again, uh, complete opposite of what you just did. So you're gonna want to slowly work it back in. When it gets to the point that it doubles up on itself, it's gonna be a lot more difficult at that point. But once you can get it uh, all level and all in, that's the last step. Then you just force carbonate and you're good to go. So I'm gonna try and get this to go quickly. It doesn't always, but I'm just going to show you real time how long it takes me to put this specific ring back in. So. around the edges here 
uh, just trying to slowly work it in. I found that this is the best way to do it. It's not the easy, it's not easy at all by any means. It's the best way to go. Sometimes you just need a little pressure to get it down flat. And if you can't get it, go back a little bit further because that means you haven't gotten it tight enough somewhere along the line. Okay, I believe that I got it, but I always want to double check. You can see on these two parts right here, you'll be able to see if the ring is fully uh, into the slot based off of there's a uh, cutout and you'll be able to see how far in it's gone. So you want to make sure you have it in there good. As you can see, we've got it in on both sides, and it's all the way up, nice and flush. That's what you want. So that is how you open and reseal a keg. Um, if you like the videos, subscribe, share. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching the hard pour.